let's start out with an informal greeting from me to you once I've met. Hey, I'm Stacey. Nice to meet you if I haven't already met you. Yeah, this is another video. I hope that you're doing absolutely fantastic, absolutely well, and that this video finds you well. So today I have a comment that was left on my YouTube, and this is what it says. Why can't I find a girl that feels this so I can rescue her from her loneliness and she can rescue me from mine? Why is it so hard to find that person that's hurting and suffering? Why? Well, I think... That what you have is lost puppy dog syndrome and that's what I have and that comes from one of my friends shout out to Nicole it's a long 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 time ago she's the one that introduced me to the word or the terminology she's the one that told me that I had lost puppy dog syndrome that was basically and I might get it wrong but that was in a nutshell is basically you always want to help somebody who is so lost or hurt or suffering right you know you're attracted to that like you're attracted to wanting to help them it's like lost puppy dog syndrome you're like you see a lost puppy and you're like oh I want to save it and nurture it and, and keep it safe or like take it home you know just this help in human form but like you call it lost puppy dog syndrome anyways enough of that so i think that's what you have i think you have lost puppy dog syndrome that's it i'm going by just kidding it's not the end of the video joking i really do think that that is what is going on here i don't know if i could provide you with a lot of advice for this other than the, what my opinion is i don't have a correct formula or anything like that i just have my words and how i think and the experiences that i've been through and i could relay that on to you but i think for the first part why you can't find that one person to start off with that you can't find them because you're actively looking for them. I believe that in a way you're setting yourself up to fail because you're you're constantly out there looking for one specific thing and I think because you're looking at that specific thing you're missing out on other things that are going on around. Like you could be possibly missing out on others who are not suffering and are perfectly happy but can also help you but in order for them to be able to help you you have to help yourself. You mentioned that you're lonely. Maybe you're lonely because you haven't yet fully loved yourself. You haven't found love within yourself. Maybe you just don't love yourself and you need to learn to love yourself because with loving yourself it will no longer be a sad depressive loneliness like you're making it seem here or like it seems like it is for you in your comment and it'll be something happy it'll be something good it'll be something that you're okay with that you're not necessarily depressed or hurting over it or like desperate over it when you start to love yourself and you love yourself wholeheartedly unconditionally and you're a number one supporter things change a lot and things become a lot better for you so I think starting there loving yourself starting to love yourself if you already love yourself love yourself more I think that's your starting point I think you're trying to make something happen that is not ready to happen yet that's not necessarily here yet it's going to happen don't worry you're gonna find someone I don't know if it's gonna be somebody who's suffering and somebody who's hurting which I don't know I don't know what your life has in store for you but that should just make you happy that you don't know what life has in store for you and you're excited to find out but I think that you're so wrapped up in trying to find somebody who's necessarily hurt and suffering because you want to aid them back to health I think that that that's what's hindering you. I think that's what's stopping you. I think that's what's holding you back. I'm not really sure why you want to find somebody who's hurting and suffering, but that's, you know, those are your reasons. But I think that if you really do want to find somebody like that, then I think you should honestly stop looking for it and just let it happen. Just let it be brought to you. And if it's meant to be that way where you're going to have somebody who's meant for you who is suffering and hurting, then it's going to it's going to come to you. It's going to happen. If, it, if you're meant to be with somebody who's super happy, jolly, and enjoying life and everything and all that, so long as they love you so, so much, that might be the person that, that is meant for you and maybe somebody who is suffering and hurting is not meant for you. I wish I could say I have an answer for you but I don't. I don't know what your life entails and what's meant to happen for you but I think that you should really just relax and focus on other things that are important to you in your life. I know loneliness is something that also pulls us back and holds us back you know what I mean but I think that as I mentioned earlier loving yourself will help with that and surrounding yourself with people that you love and going out and enjoying life and being happy and just getting to places that you want to get to in life will really help with that. In the meantime, while you're focusing on that, everything else is going to finally fall into place. Everything else is going to eventually connect and hopefully all of your questions will finally be answered. But until then, I think that you should just really take a step back. Just be happy. Just surround yourself with positivity and know that everything is going to eventually show its face and everything is going to finally make sense for you, okay? Instead of constantly asking why and wondering, I think, that you should just put that to the side. Forget about asking why and just live your life. And then your why will eventually be answered. So I hope this helps. I hope this helped your heart settle down a little bit. I hope this helps you sleep a little bit better at night. Love yourself, okay? Love yourself because it's a beautiful thing.
Thank you so much for asking me this question and leaving it in a comment. Thank you for watching my video. If you do know somebody who could really, really benefit from hearing this, from hearing my words, please do pass this on. You never know who you could be helping. You never know whose eyes needs to see this, whose ears need to hear this. And at the same time, you'll be doing a very good deed and helping them because you already know helping is always such a sweet thing. So thank you again once more. Please follow me on my social medias if you'd like to. And I'll see you in the next video. And remember, if there's one thing that I want to call to mind, there are actually Actually three, no matter the highs, the lows, always be sure, always be certain to do good. Be grateful and stay humble. See ya.